Usa ka pagtuo. Usa ka tingog. Usa ka katawahan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live, Gikan sa NTV, CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 2. Puluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Dugang baksin, maabot din sa Sugbo. Duha ka mga konsihal na tinubagay kabahin sa Sugyot na minusan ang mga job order employees. Mayong udto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyusang puwersa sa CCTV News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karon sa detalye sa atong mga balita, gipahibaw ni Dr. Mary Jane Lorece ang tigpamaaba sa Departamento sa Paglawas din sa Central Visayas. Dunay mga bot din sa Sugbo nga dugang 200 Gs ka baksin alang sa COVID-19. Si Lorece Mihulagway nga usa kini ka pinakadaghan nga dosis nga gipada din sa rehiyon o gitagana kini alang sa Metro Cebu. Mato ni Lorice, nga usa sa mayong disisyon nga gihimo sa nasudnong kagamahanan, nga ang mga sensitibong matang sa bakuna, gitagana ni ini alang sa Central Visayas. Ang Pfizer, usa sa mga nakinahanglan og ultra cold storage, nga butanganan ang mga tabalanan sa Metro Cebu, doon ay susama ni ini nga pasilidad. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas ang dakbayan sa Subo. Aduna ay 41 kabag-ong kaso kagahapong adlawa. Kini base sa report sa Department of Health. Samtang dakbayan sa Mandawi, 8, Lapu-Lapu, 11, Lalawigan sa Subo, 24, Negros Oriental, 308, Bohol, 156, Siquijor, 5. Sa Kiyatibukan, muabot sa 553 kabag-ong kaso sa coronavirus din sa Rion 7 kagahapong adlawa. Lawa. Nagkatinugbagay sila si Kunsyal Ninya Mabatid o Kunsyal Alvin Dison kabahin sa sugyot sa dalahi nga minusan ang ginaghanon sa gipanghire ng mga job order employee din sa syudad. Sa iyang social media post, gihagit ni Mabatid si Dison sa pagsuroy sa City Hall o sa kabaranggayan aron makita kung unsa kahago ang mga GOs ilabi na kadtong gihimo ng mga frontliners batok sa COVID-19 o guban pang way klaro ng asyldo. Gikwestiyon ni Mabatid nga nung buot ni Dison nga i-divert ang budget sa suhulan sa mga GOs pagpalit og mga tambal, livelihood o burial assistance nga doon naman kinikaw galingong pundo o nganong hatagan o importansya ang patay o niya ang buhi paantusun. Apan si Dison miingon nga sugyutra ang iyang rekomendasyon nga to sa Committee on Budget and Finance o sa mga department heads. Mitambong ang mga department heads sa maong sesyon nga gihimo apan mato ni Dison nga wa si mabatid mo tambong kuni absent niya itong tungura. Gipadayag ni Dison nga wa siya na muritika sa iyang sugyut. Si Dison ni Awag ni Mabatid nga mo tambong sa sunod nga budget. Hearing. Kapulisan sa Dakbayan sa Karkar mupasaka og kasong usurpation of authority batok sa 18 anyos nga lalaki nga nagpakaroneng nun nga pulis ang kasayuran ihatod ni Arnold Bustamante. Gipasaka ng kasong usurpation of authority ang usaka 18 anyos nga lalaki nga nasakpan nga nagsulubog ni Pondi sa Philippine National Police o nagtakin pag-armas nga plastik kagahapon sa alas 3.50 sa hapon nga rekop si Rory Juab Humawan na taga Mabini Street Barangay Parian sa sunod sa Subo sa dihang nagbaktas kini sa sitio kampuntan Barangay Bolinawan usaka polis nga nadistino sa Karkar City Police Station ang nakabantay nga dili tinuod nga polis ang suspisado tungod kay diliha o mga sapatos nini nga gisulub Matori Police Lieutenant Colonel Alan Rosario ang hepi sa Karkar City Police Station nga mitugaan matod pa ang dinagpaan nga hinatag lang kaniya ang PNP uniform apan wala na kini klaro mutubag sa mga pangutana So ako din sa kanya ma may ipanghatag daw sa Yahato but yun nga pangutana na Mokinsa uh, wapot siya ka ano Kami terang nafas nama nang 
kaso, then it's up to the process ng process kung sa ilang disposition nato, kung pa ilang pangarap. Kung questioning yung ano niya, yung mental capacity niya, then kung magmanda ang kote na dalhin namin siya sa psychological ano ba, para maganda rin siya ng examination na test, then we will do it. Mga events ang nakuhagikan kaniya, ang duha ka PNP Athletic Shorts, usa ka PNP Athletic Shirts, usa ka replika sa 9mm pistol, usa ka PNP face mask, o usa ka PNP tube mask. Arnold Bustamante, CCT News. Nagawat ang Executive Department ngayonan sa Cebu City Council ang 4.4 billiones ng supplemental budget number one din da kung pahat ni ini ibayad sa nabiling utang sa SRP. Si Mayor Edgardo Labilla, malaomon nga uyunan sa City Council ang iyang gihangyo nga pundo sa lit igasto kini sa mga panginahanglanon sa katawhan sama sa pagtiwas sa katukuran sa Cebu City Medical Center. Ang chairman sa Committee on Budget and Finance sa City Council nga si Consul Raymond Garcia ni Butyag nga natubag sa mga department heads ang mga pangutana para sa ilang gihangyo nga pundo atol sa budget hearing sa nakalabay nga simana. Gipangimugatan ni Gobernur Gwendolyn Garcia nga ngayang mabalik sa katawhan ang pagkaadunahan sa probinsya pinaagi sa serbisyo kini mo iyang gipalalanog atol sa iyang uh, pagbisita dito sa lungsod sa Mualboal ni atong Martes Honyo Otso. Mato ni Garcia nga way post ang pagkalabing adunahan sa probinsya sa nasod kung dili makatagamtam ni ini ang katawhan. Sa datos gikan sa Provincial Treasurer's Office ni Saka o 38.2% ang kita sa Kapitulyo sa unang quarter ning to iga. Dili ko buot nga kutob na lantas panghambog. Kung dili matagamtam sa matag subuanon ang ayuda nga gikan sa labing dato nga probinsya ang lalawigan sa subo. Ug mao kana nga magpadayon kining atong panirbisyo kaninyo kay gikinahanglan Kang matag subuanon makaingon subuanon ko nagpasalamat ko nagkuyog ako lakip ako niini labing datong probinsya sa tibuok nasun. Maukadto ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngat sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang ngayang atong Sari 47, karong alas 5 sa hapon, hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next, ang Santos nga Misa Manukad Live sa CCTA in Chapel. Daghang salamat.
Church of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicholas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene Adnanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. celebrate the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. And in this Eucharistic celebration, with all the different intentions in mind and in our hearts, we offer our love who, to whom? To Him who also loves us all the more. And so for the intentions of, those, of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversary this month, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration, we include in our prayers. And also for all the needs of those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And with your spirit. Dear sisters and brothers, let us now acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to, to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers Lord. and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, to take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. To take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray.
Oh God, who in the heart of your Son, wounded by our sins, bestow on us mercy, the boundless treasures of your love. Grant, we pray, that in paying him the homage of our devotion, we may also offer worthy reparation. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Hosea. Thus says the Lord, When Israel was a child, I loved him. Out of Egypt, I called my son. Yet it was I who taught Ephraim to walk, who took them in my arms. I drew them with human cords, with bands of love. I foster them like one who raises an infant to his cheeks. Yet though I stooped to feed my child, they did not know that I was their healer. My heart is overwhelmed. My pity is stirred. I will not give vent to my blazing anger. I will not destroy Ephraim again. For I am God and not a man, the Holy One present among you. I will not let the flames consume you. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Great in your midst is the 
Holy One of Israel. You will draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, to me, the very least of all the holy ones, this grace was given to preach to the Gentiles the inscrutable riches of Christ and to bring to light for all what is the plan of the mystery hidden from ages past in God who created all things, so that the manifold wisdom of God might now be made known through the church to the principalities and authorities in the heavens. This was according to the eternal purpose that it accomplished in Christ Jesus our Lord, in whom we have boldness of speech and confidence of access through faith in him. For this reason, I kneel before the Father, from whom every family in heaven and on earth is named, that he may grant you in accord with the riches of his glory to be strengthened with power through his spirit in the inner self, and that Christ may dwell in your hearts through faith, that you, rooted and grounded in love, may have strength to comprehend with all the holy ones what is the breadth and length and height and depth, and to know the love of Christ which surpasses knowledge, so that you may be filled with all the fullness of God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. From the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, o Lord. Since it was preparation day, in order that the bodies might not remain on the cross on the Sabbath, for the Sabbath day of that week was a solemn one, the Jews asked Pilate that their legs be broken and they be taken down. So the soldiers came and broke the legs of the first and then of the other one who was crucified with Jesus. But when they came to Jesus and saw that he was already dead, they did not break his legs. But one soldier thrust his lance into his side, and immediately blood and water flowed out. An eyewitness has testified, and his testimony is true. He knows that he is speaking the truth, so that you also may come to believe. For this happened so that the scripture passage might be fulfilled. Not a bone of it will be broken. 
And again, another passage says, they will look upon him whom they have pierced. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. A blessed solemnity to each and every one. And upon climbing the stairs here, Gina Neng Kong Nanay, Happy Love Day, Padre. So I should also say something like that to you. Actually, today is a very, very special and rare uh, occasion when a solemnity is celebrated outside the Sunday, uh, the Sunday celebration. But let, it, let us uh, put it straight in this way. Today we celebrate the very heart, which actually is the very love of God for us. And it is so manifested in the very common and the very familiar picture or icon or image of the heart that really is actually coming out from the, from the breast of the Lord. Ang kasing-kasing, no, nga, kung, kung atong tanahon, with all its uh, embellishment, no, nagdilaab, na ay kalayo, kasing-kasing nga nagsiga, kainit, the warmth, the love, the overwhelming love, and pardon of, of, the, of, the, of the God who is manifested in the flesh through our Lord Jesus Christ, the Word incarnate. And so this is indeed a very great day. But I would like to make an interesting connection. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I just don't know. Or I hope I should say that. You do the morning offering prayer every morning. Do you know what I am talking about? Oh Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, and sufferings of this day in union with the Holy Sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and all apostles of prayer, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. You know, my day is never complete, or my, my waking up in the morning is never complete without this prayer. Nindot kayo pagpahiluna sa tibok adlaw nga kita, nagsubay o naglakaw. Ilabi na diha sa tunga-tunga sa pag-ampo, the intentions of the sacred heart. And what are the intentions? Salvation of souls, reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. And I think this should overwhelm us or this should challenge us even more because all the days that we live in this world is always connected to the very mission and the intentions of the heart, of the love of loves, of the heart of hearts. And this we can always ask at the end of the day or in the middle of the day. How have we been reacting or responding to this? How we prayed for a soul today? Have we prayed in our hearts or at least uh, being touched by certain people who, who need our forgiveness or we ourselves who are asking for forgiveness? And then the reparation for sins and the reunion of all Christians. No, anong reunion of all Christians, man? It's not all about Catholics, by the way. Christians meaning those who believe in Christ. But the reunion has something to do with the, the great intention of the one shepherd who is going to bring us all into one fold. And so our gospel reading today for year B, because there are three gospels for the three cycles, is very significant because this is the time, this is the moment when the, the, the side of the Lord was fierce with the lands and from his heart, actually flowed blood and water. Now we are familiar with this through the uh, Divine Mercy devotion. The blood representing the Eucharist and the water representing baptism. And the bottom line here is the forgiveness of sins. Now in order to put this into proper perspective, I continue the challenge. 
So if you do not have the prayer, you can actually browse in the uh, in the internet, no, in the websites. But this is a very beautiful prayer. Start the prayer by reading if you are a first timer, and then later on it will just be part of your system. No? That that it's it's so it's so beautifully written as a prayer, and much more beautiful when we pray this by heart. And finally, as a connection to this. Every first Friday of the month, today is the second Friday of the month, but uh, today is the Solemnity of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. There are three things that we are also reminded of. No? C, consecration. O, oblation or offering. And R, reparation. Reparation, pag-ayo sa mga nadaot. No? And if you, we, we write the, word, the, the letters together, C-O-R, okay? we read it as core. And in Latin, core means heart. No, that's why Sacred Heart of Jesus is core Jesu. No, and it is in these three letters that we are daily challenged and asked to respond because it is our way of giving our love back to the one who loves us very much. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten and made consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Dear sisters and brothers, we can pray to the Father with great confidence because in Christ, He has set His heart upon us. And so we say, Fill us with your love, Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. That the church may practice the humility of Mary in willingness to serve God and men. Let us pray to the Lord. Fill us with your love, Lord. That families may live in true love and mutual understanding. Let us pray to the Lord. That those who labor and are overburdened may find rest in the generous heart of our Savior. Let us pray to the Lord. That the sick may know the love of Christ as they unite themselves with the suffering of Jesus. Let us pray to the Lord. That the dead may find eternal joy in the heart of Christ. Let us pray to the Lord. Merciful Father, receive these prayers we offer in union with the pierced heart of your beloved Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, dear sisters and brothers, that your sacrifice and mine may be acceptable to God, the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look, O Lord, we pray on the surpassing charity in the heart of your beloved Son, that what we offer may be a gift acceptable to you and an expiation for our offenses. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift him up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks lord holy father almighty and eternal god through christ our lord for who raised up high on the cross he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love and poured out blood and water from his spear's side the wellspring of the church's sacraments so that one over to the open heart of the Savior, all might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, this gift we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At a time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. (laughs) 
He in a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, with Midifil, his assistant bishop, all bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, May merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ has said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord. Be with you always. And with your spirit. Let's now share with each other the sign of peace. Shalom. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you, that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and my, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed. Let us pray. May the sacrament of charity, O Lord, make us fervent with the fire of holy love, so that drawn always to your Son, we may learn to see him in our neighbor, through Christ our Lord. Most sweet Jesus, Redeemer of the human race, look down upon us, humbly prostrate before your altar. We are yours and yours we wish to be, but to be more surely united with you, 
Behold, each one of us freely consecrates today to your most sacred heart. Many indeed have never known you. Many too, despising your precepts, have rejected you. Have mercy on them all, most merciful Jesus, and draw them to your sacred heart. Be you a king, O Lord, not only of the faithful who have never forsaken you, but also of the prodigal children who have abandoned you. Grant that they may quickly return to their father's house, lest they die of wretchedness and hunger. Be you king of those who are deceived by erroneous opinions, or whom discord keeps aloof, and call them back to the harbor of truth and unity of faith, so that soon there may be but one flock and one shepherd. Grant, O Lord, to your church assurance of freedom and immunity from harm, Give peace and order to all nations, and make the earth resound from pole to pole with one cry. Praise to the divine heart that wrought our salvation. To it be glory and honor forever. Amen. Heart of Jesus, Son of the Eternal Father, have mercy, have mercy on, us. on us. Heart of Jesus, formed by the Holy Spirit in the womb of the Virgin Mother, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, substantially united to the Word of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, of infinite majesty, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, sacred temple of God, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, fountain of life and holiness, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, propitiation for our sins, have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, loaded down with opprobrium. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, bruised for our offenses. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, obedient unto death. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, pierced with the lance. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, source of all consolation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our life and resurrection. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, our peace and reconciliation. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, victim for sin. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, salvation for those who trust in you. Have mercy. Heart of Jesus, hope of those who die for you. Have mercy on us. Heart of Jesus, delight of all the saints. Have mercy on us. Jesus, meek and humble of heart. Make our Keep hearts, a, make our hearts unto like unto yours. Let us pray. O Almighty and eternal God, look upon the heart of your dearly beloved Son and upon the praise and satisfaction He offers you in the name of sinners for those who seek your mercy. Be you appeased and grant us pardon in the name of the same Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you, the unity of the Holy Spirit, world without end. Amen. Amen. Act of consecration to the sacred heart of Jesus. I give and consecrate to the heart of our Lord Jesus Christ my whole life, my action, my trials, my sufferings, devoting every portion of my being to loving, honoring, and glorifying Him, to working for His love alone, renouncing with all my heart whatever may be displeasing to Him. I take you then, O Sacred Heart, for the object of my love, the protector of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my inconsistency, the redeemer of all my faults, and my sure refuge in the hour of death. O heart of all goodness, be my justification before God the Father, and shield me from the effects of His just anger. O heart overflowing with love, I place all my confidence in You, for I dread my own weakness while I hope everything from Your goodness. Consume then in me whatever may displease You or withstand from Your will, and may the pure love of You be so deeply imprinted in my heart that I may never forget you, and I implore you by all your love that my name may be graven upon your heart. May it be all my happiness to live and die as your slave. Amen. Amen. Horatio Imperata. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. 
bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strengthen their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this to our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O most holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petitions and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Sacred Heart of Jesus, have mercy on us. Señor Santo Nino, have mercy on us. Our Lady of Guadalupe, pray for, pray for us. us. Our Lady Health of the Sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calongsod, pray for us. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Holy Eucharist has been offered. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family.